Aiurul cu mamă ne uită în față. Dacă mai poate ce zici. Uit. It's time to finish the act two once and for all. Should have. We have all lost loved ones.
Geeks Bro Bar.
Yeah.
Is this your first fight, soldier? The noise from those beasts has finally ceased, but I had hoped more of my troops would have survived. It will be a bloody task indeed for so few to hold out against Valdus's vast hordes. Many of the legionists who aren't commanders. Aye, well done, soldier. You have certainly earned this reward. Come, let's give those creatures a taste of their own poison. for punishment, are they not? We must hold this position. Morden troops are heading for our eastern wall, our weakest point. By the light of Zeria, we are spread too thin. You have got to get up there and deal with that wretched beast. I am fit to serve. A dragon is slow to die. There is a ballista on the roof that may give you the firepower you need, soldier. It will be a pressure. No, not like that, idiot. One million.
You see the dark side of everything. We killed a dragon. Isn't that something to rejoice about? Do not rejoice too loudly, or those soldiers uh, close friends to take me everything. Ah, you are right, for once. But the knowledge of what I have seen will make my step higher for days, I warrant. Yeah. It cannot be. You killed the dragon single-handedly? You have the fight of a hundred men in you. The Morden do not stand a chance! That's right. Commander, look! Take this key. It will unlock the door to the reliquary. Get the Aegis. Don't let any of us have it. Not even me.
alas, it was as I foresaw. You knew this would happen? You didn't know that? Would you have believed me? Perhaps. No. You would have told me that your will would prevail. You did not give me the choice. Sometimes one's back is stronger not knowing what the outcome of events will be. You've been so little. Quite the opposite. I think that you may yet be the one to turn the tide.
patient but Jesus. 
shit, 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 shit. Not like that. No, not there. Let you do this to me again. I see you on the side. Not even a dragon can stop me.
to die. <sighs> Valdus has struck a fatal blow here, in the heart of the resistance. I fear for this world, my friend. How can this be happen? I can feel the power growing. It surges strongly beneath our feet. The age of Valdus is fast becoming an inevitability. Not as long as I draw breath. You shall need that kind of fortitude in the days to come. You now hold half the shield. The destiny of the world is in your hands. This the shield as you lie. Leave this castle. Travel to the town ahead. They too have a piece of the shield, although they need it. Do what you must to acquire it. Nothing is more important now. I will do it. You have my word. I will get the, all the shield pieces. So. Only those who created the shield can be forged, young warrior. The Agolans. Agolans? But they are mythical creatures. So you think. But remember that until recently you thought the Azionites were dead and gone. Take this stone to any portal. It will open the way to Calrathia. I only wish I could give you more. Godspeed. Desert sands. I've heard that these people here are not very honest. Some are deceptive, it is true. But you will commonly find falseness in the cities of men. The nearness of the Morden strongholds affects the weak will. There are hangers uh, onto the Morden then. And the fort uh, makes my bite while rise. Most of them are strong and valiant. But I would not say anything to slander your former masters here. The Morden have more spies in this place than they do elsewhere. I, I shall guard my top. Welcome, traveler. Even in these difficult times, Enchantress Valeria is available to increase the power of your equipment. How may I help you? Danadel of Amalu sent me to you. He thought you could help. Danadel? Ah, oh, I remember him. We spoke at length about the powers of the Leontir stones used by the Assassin's Guild. I have studied them extensively. Why did Danadel send you to me? Have you seen such a stone? Alas, I had the misfortune of picking one up uh, that was meant for another. I am hoping that you can help me remove the mark. 
That is ill fortune indeed. The only way to escape the effects of the Leontir Stone is to kill the assassin who created it. That will not be an easy task. The Spider Watchers practice a dark magic that renders them invisible to common folk. However, I have mastered an enchantment that can give you the ability to see through their mirage. You will need to bring me a special ring that can survive the enchantment process. Where do I find this ring? The ring I need is made of dwarven mithril. The dwarves who made them are long gone. But it is possible that you can still find rings in the mines of Cadarac where they were forged. If you can get into the mines, seek the forgotten places. Within you will find ancient chests of lost treasures. When you acquire a ring, return to me. But before you go, do you have any other equipment that needs enchantment? Not at present, thank you. Please be assured that neither the lack of water in our town, nor the Morden occupying our streets, have affected the quality of our merchandise in any way. Would you care to look at my wares? Or perhaps you could help me with another matter. What is uh, this other matter you speak of? My good-for-nothing apprentice is missing. We've been experimenting with the effects of light on... Well, I cannot expect you to understand such matters. Derek left three days ago and was expected to return by nightfall of the same day. I'm afraid something untoward has happened. Worse, he has my research journal containing very important information that I simply cannot lose. I will do what I can to find your friend. And the lost journal? And the lost journal. You have my thanks. Derek was supposed to investigate some ruins near the Morden city of Darth Rule. Take this mirror. It may assist you. I was using it in the experiments we were conducting. Can you give me any more details on where the ruin? Yes. Go out the east gate and follow the road through the desert until you reach the Morden city of Darth Rule. There is a bridge over the dry canal before the city. Do not go over that bridge. Instead, look to the west for a path down into the canal. Follow the canal away from the city and you will come across the ruins. I will see, I will see what I can do. Hello, have you located my missing journal yet? Or did you come to shop? I come to shop. May I see what I can
Greetings, traveler. Pity you chose to visit us during times like these. Morted, wandering the streets openly, our water supply cut off. At least that has not affected the quality of my armor, the finest in Arana. This is good. Let me see what. combat Water to quench my metal, and more than lurking behind every rock. Dark times, these. What can I do for you, traveler? I would like to see what you have for sale. Stranger, you look like someone with a bit of an adventurous streak. Am I right? We're half one. Then you and I have something in common. I'm also an explorer of sorts and have traveled all over Arana in my youth. Now that I'm too old for the discomforts of the trail, I'm forced to remain closer to home. I found something quite interesting the other day. an ancient vault. Inside, I found a series of statues. In turn, they caused beautiful lights to run through grooves in the floor. I experimented with them and discovered that the lights formed a pattern and a hidden door opened. The secret room contained a chest and beyond it, there was another room similar to the first. Have you heard the tale of Serenith the Eldersmith? I'm unfamiliar with that He was a master craftsman who lived in the First Age. The historians think it likely that the vault I found was once his. The amulet I found within the chest bears his markings. Apparently, Sir Anath was an accomplished jeweler, enchanter, and engineer who was notorious for creating spectacular artifacts. 
and then locking them away behind ridiculously complex contraptions. Sounds like an old fellow. Indeed. Leonja thinks this particular vault contains the final set before his death. The only jewels that are still missing. If that is true, then what a discovery. Now, my young explorer, make you a deal. Recover the rest of the jewels from the vault to prove our theory, and I will give you the amulet I found. I trust that you will find it quite useful. All right, there you have a deal. Leave through the north gate and follow the aqueduct into the desert until you come to a tall stone tower. Leave the path and head east into the desert and down the hill. Look to your right, and you will see another stone tower of an older style. Go inside, and use the lift to enter the vault. Pass through the first room and go down the stairs to find the next series of statues and floor grooves. On my way. Wait.
Leave me be, stranger. Go. Are you Carlos the Wise? Who dare speak that name? I mean, never heard of it. I'm Carlos the Strong, most powerful fighter this side of the this side of the northern reaches. Ha! <laughs> you mean Carlos the Weak? You Weak. dare challenge Carlos the Strong? I'll cut you with my sword faster than you can. <laughs> ah, that's better. What were we talking about? Need information on a silver horn creature that has excellent endure and the ability to thrust surrounding creatures into a. Ah, that would be the mithril horn. It sometimes come through rifts by the Morden realm agents tame those nasty dervils. Since you seem to know so much about the mithril horns, perhaps we could go capture one together. You? Is this me? <laughs> you look worse for wear than my old pack mule Pedros. The Morton Majors didn't kill you first, but the Burbles will eat you alive. Hmm. If I could defeat him, but would you help me? <laughs> <laughs> if you can defeat me, I will help you. Better you should learn now rather than dangling from the claw of one of those Burbles. Have at it. I am ready when you are. I did nothing. <laughs> this has been somewhat sobering. Perhaps you would stand a chance against the Morden Growl after all. Very well. I'll keep my word. Meet me at the Rift site. Where is the Rift? Go out to Arathia's North Gate. Follow the trail through the desert. You will reach a tall stone tower. Walk past the front of it and head east, away from the path. The next bit of ruins. Head north, round them, and continue down the hill. We'll find the rift camp at the base. Oh, a pups and a scourge these northern tyrants be. But I, in my younger years, I'd have at them myself. Ah. Uh, I grew weak from lack of water. Tavara, is there someone here you wish to meet? Would you have any spare water with you, friend? Ah, I expect not. None do these days. But you must be here to meet someone, or perhaps increase the size of your party. Crawling back. Admit that you need Satan's superior abilities. We've seen many strangers pass through this town. Most of them are up to no good. Spies lurk in the shadows. Spies? What do you know of spies? Nothing. I mean, I am not a spy, but I have seen it. Tell me about them. I cannot tell you much. There is one spy, Osric. He's in the tavern more often than not. And when he drinks, he talks, so we know much about him. Where is he from? He says he traveled here from Windstone Fortress. And did he tell you of his days there? He spoke of monsters, of course. And he spoke of a madman, a half giant, who thought he saw visions. Something about ghosts. This is the man I seek. Tell me where I can find him. Now! I hear he's hiding out in a cavern in the desert, east of town. If you want to get in, tell him you wish to join in in the resistance. Let us find your spy, son.
good. By the Mace of Agaris. You look like you've still got some fight in you. The Mace of Agaris? What is that? What? Oh, that's just an expression we use up here. Doesn't mean anything as far as I'm concerned. Who is Agaris? Just a half-giant legend. He was supposed to have been the biggest half-giant there ever was. And his mace could level fortresses. I'm intrigued. Could you tell me more about it? That is all I know. If you wish to learn more, I know of an explorer in Amon Lu who is studying the legend. Her name is Ty S, if I recall. If she's not at her home, she's usually studying at the tavern. If you find yourself in that tavern, look her up and yell that old dog Grudman. Thank you for the look for Ty. Greetings, friend. I have studied far and wide and have heard tales of a wondrous collection of books that are now scattered about the land. I will reward you well if you would bring me these ancient volumes. Very well, I keep them. Good. This collection can be identified by the inscription on the inner flap that lists it as one of the Lore of Arana volumes. There are 20 altogether. I hope you can find them. Oh my, you have certainly been successful in locating books from the Lore of Arana collection. There are only a few missing. I do hope you will be able to find the last of them before I die. Greetings, friend. I'm afraid lessons in the advanced magics are not possible at the moment. Not so long as the Calrathian Nexus remains sealed against our use. Calrathian Nexus? I have never heard of such The Calrathian Nexus is one of the largest of its kind in Arana. Three ley lines converge there, resulting in an upwelling of power. The mages of Calrathia have been practicing our art there for generations. I, a dark wizard, came and placed a seal over the Nexus, blocking it from our use. The mages have been trying to remove it and have figured out most of the steps required. We have determined that the seal is linked to the three ley lines that form our Nexus. If the power of those is captured, I think the seal can be broken. I will help you destroy the seal. That's what I was hoping to hear. Take this soul staff and imbue it with the essence of the three ley lines. The best place to do this is at a node of power along the line. I can tell you where two of them are, but you will need to locate the third yourself. Very well, go on. To imbue the staff, stand upon the symbol beside each power vent and speak the words Arkeso Arcanum. You should immediately see the magical energy form around the staff. Once the soul staff contains all three types of energy, Use it against the seal to destroy it. It sounds simple enough. Where is the first You can find the node of frost in the northern reaches within the subterranean living quarters of Snowbrook Haven. If you enter from the rear, you will locate it off the first grand hallway before you cross over the balcony. The node is in a very distinctive cavern that contains four arching bridges to the vent platform and beautiful foliage that does not normally thrive in such an environment. 
Where is the second? You can find the node of Earth in the Temple of Zeria. Look in the area behind the altar. There is a statue unlike the others, and if you twist it, a hidden stairway will be revealed. That node is also within a very distinctive cavern that contains four arching bridges to the vent platform and beautiful foliage. Do you have any idea where the last node is? No. Enough have searched for the node of the Phoenix that I am convinced it must be somewhere well hidden. It must have been well known once. Every upwelling of power lies within access of a magic community who can make use of it. I would search the ancient places of the world. There are many from ages past that have been long forgotten. Thank you, I will do my best. I have heard many a tale in my day, and some were tall and some were true. It is my job to distinguish which is which. Would that I knew the answer to one in particular, and I would be able to enrich the world with its knowledge. How may I assist you? I have been trying to find a legendary song of dwarven tunnelers who were driven from this region long ago. The song was supposed to improve their chances of finding veins of gold. Some places you are venturing to may hold record of this song on runes, frescoes, or manuscripts. Will you help me locate the lost dwarven song of ore? I, I will be glad to help. Wonderful! I will need all three parts of the song in order to decipher the chorus. Bring those to me if you discover them in your travels. Greetings. State your business, stranger. My name is Al Satan. I mean no harm. I'm searching for the town elder. I'm the leader here. But uh, you are a child. How could it be? I'm sure you have seen stranger things in your day. Please tell me how I can help you. I'm searching for the ages of time. What? what? I have never heard of such a thing. There is nothing like that here. I fear this much. Then my travels are not yet over. I must find the ages. It is not here. Please leave us. Before I go, I must know why are more than occupying this town. We heard how the resistance forces fared at Snowbrook Haven. The Morden entered our town soon after. Many of our people have lost hope. Valdus is seizing control, and there is nothing we can do to stop him. Strange figures climb the slopes of Zaramoth's horns, and the night sky is filled with terrors. Valdus has reawakened the ancient powers in that mountain. If we fought back, we would surely die. We are making the best of a bad situation. The Morden have seen fit to keep us alive, and I wish to keep it that way. Leave now if you know what's good for you. Wait. There is something I must ask you. My lord, let this stranger leave. Shut up! We need the help of one who has strength and courage. Can you assist us? What do you need done? The Morden have seized our water supply. Sire, I beseech you no more. I said shut the fuck up! They now control the source of our aqueduct. Morden Ganth Beast stands guard. We sent our best men there to slay the creature and restore our water supply, but they died in the attempt. Now we are too weak from thirst to form a proper assault. The Morden mean for us to die, I fear. With all due respect, if they meant to kill us, they would have done so long ago. They merely want order and control. They will restore our water soon enough, once we have proven our allegiance to Valdis. He's in Valdis's side. You put much faith in them. I do not share your faith, Kainos. Friend, will you help? <laughs> Look after the... Doesn't 
accept it. I will do my best. Excellent. Kainos, send the order to open the aqueduct gate. As you wish, my lord. It is a brave and compassionate thing you are doing. You have my gratitude. Where I can... Uh... Where can I find this gang? Which... Leave through the northern gate and follow the aqueduct through the desert to the water chapel. The cistern holding our water supply lies in the chapel's inner courtyard. If you can reach the valve and open it, our water should be restored, and we will be indebted to you. Do not fear, I shall return. They say they do not have the ages, but honesty is not a common human virtue. You think they are lying? Remember what happened to Amalu. If they lie, perhaps it is because the leaders of this town fear what evils might befall them if Valdis believed they possessed the Aegis. I see what you mean. If it is indeed concealed here, I hope they have the wisdom to hand it over to us rather than to the more. to uncover. The study of the ancients is a full-time occupation, to say the least. I'm busy right now, but if you want to learn about historical subjects, go talk to historian Bedelia. She'll be able to help you better than I. I have been directed to you, Perceba Sen. Perceba? My goodness, it's been a long time since I heard from her. How is she faring? She's well in good spirits. She told me to ask you about the Mace of the Garns. Oh, she did, did she? Did she also tell you how tracing the history of that thing has caused me more trouble than any other task of exploration I've taken on yet? What is the story of the, the Mace of Agaris? That is a pet project of mine. Agaris is a legendary figure in half-giant lore. He was much larger than a normal half-giant and lived much longer. It was suggested that he was closer to an older race from which the half-giant sprung, but no one can know that for certain. So much about the half-giants is shrouded in mystery. And his mace? Yes, his mace. With that mace, Agaris was able to level fortresses and stone battlements. In my travels, I have gathered fragments of a stone tablet that is rumored to identify the final resting place of the mace. A small fragment remains to be found in order to complete it. If I can get that, I should be able to decipher the tablet and identify the mace's whereabouts. Please. That is just the thing. My studies led me to an area in the northern reaches where I found most of the fragments. But the final fragment was locked away in an area that was just too dangerous for me to enter. Do you think you have what it takes to get it? I will never know until... All right, I will make a deal with you. My interest is purely academic. If you find the final fragment, bring it to me, and with it I can decipher from the completed tablet the mace's location for you. Does this sound fair? Indeed it does. The Here then, you'll need this. It is a stone key that unlocks the tomb you must enter to find the fragment. Beyond that, I know nothing. Just beware, the area I refer to is rife with undead. I see. Thank you for the warning. Though it would have been nicer if you could begin the hotel with the information. When selling something, my friend, you lead with the good, not the bad. Very well, undead or no? Find this thing for you. Mm. 
thing. Good idea about the... Alright, that's all for now. We could... Bye bye.